Hello guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to host your own website on an EC2 server using Bootstrap script. Um, so I have my website over here and this is the folder for my website and I'll just click it and I have the files for my website in here. Take note that my website has a subfolder and the zip folder. So we have that so the first thing we are going to do is in our management console service storage make an s3 bucket uh, call it test bucket uh, one, and i'll just add random number and my region is going to be northern virginia and i'll create bucket so I've created my bucket. The next thing I'm going to do is upload my zip folder into that bucket. So I click open the bucket, upload my file, add file, and my folder, open, and I'll click upload. So the next thing I need to do is make the bucket and the file in the public. So we can go back to our bucket click on the bucket, select the bucket over here, edit public access setting, make sure this is on check, save, and in here we are going to type confirm. And click confirm. And now we can open that bucket and the object, select the object in it, which is our zip folder, under actions, make public, and click make public. And to test that our object is now public, when we click it and we open it, it is downloading. So now we know that our object is public. So that's the first step. So the first step, we created a bucket, uploaded our file into it, our zip file, and we make sure both the bucket and the object in it is public. Next, we are going to launch our EC2 instance. So so you will just click launch instance and we are going to select the Linux 2 AMI and general purpose T2 micro next and under this option leave everything as default but then scroll down over here to advanced detail and in here this is where you paste your your by script so and I'm going to include this information in, in the description. So this by script will be in the description. So copy it from the description. So I paste it and I'm just going to expand this to show you if I can grab this. I'm going to expand it more to show you what's in it. So this is my by strip script. And in it in it we have the we start with the shebang then we have the sudo su which is changing changing the changing us to the root then this is the yum update so it is going to install all the update for our ec2 server then we are installing apache here with the yum install httpd then the next is we are changing our directory to the directory of the of the website we just installed. So we are changing our directory to the var dub 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 html. So the next command is wget. So we type in, so it's getting wget. And in here where it says enter S3 object URL. So let's right click, open our management console in another tab. And I'll go back to my S3 storage and select my bucket open my object. So this object URL, I'm just going to copy everything, copy and go back to my, so where it says wget space, enter object URL, you are going to paste that object URL in here. So paste. So copy your object URL and make sure there's a space between the wget and paste your object URL in there. And unzip, what is the name of the folder you are trying to unzip? So the name of the folder we are trying to unzip is this love zip. So in here, we need to delete all this and just, so your watch should have unzip 
then you type in the name of the folder you are trying to unzip which is this um this love zip folder that was in our bucket that we uploaded in our bucket that's what we are trying to unzip so that's what goes in here and the next thing is we are trying to move the files remember we have a and when i open the folder on my desktop just to show you what we are doing um remember we have our zip folder and in our zip folder we have this folder and in that folder is where all our files are located so that's what this next command is so this next command this mv will move all this file from this folder into our var dub 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 folder so that's what that is so we will just delete all this and the name of that folder that all those files are located in is love so we'll type in love in there make sure you use the capital letter so if you have case it is case sensitive so make sure you type it as it is so as you can see the name of that folder is love so that's what we type in there so we are downloading our zip file then we unzip it then in that subfolder we are moving the files in that folder into our var dub 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 then we are starting the httpd so that's all we need for this then next we'll go to our storage and add storage and i'm not going to add any tag click next to security group and we can select and using and we can create a security group so i'll leave the security group name and all that as default and I'll add another rule, which is HTTPD, HTTP, I mean, sorry. And from IPv4 to IPv6. So we can just make it just IPv4 and review and launch and launch. And I'll select my key pair. So I have an existing key pair. I will acknowledge that I have access to that key pair and launch my instance. And if we have done everything right, when our instance launch it would launch our website automatically that we don't have to ssh into our into party and configure it ourselves so going to view my instance and i'm just going to wait for this to come online so now our ec2 instance is running and online and because we are up, um, it is running the bootstrap we entered so it might take a little bit longer than usual for it to run so once your ec2 instance is running just select it and grab copy the public ip address and if we've done everything right in the new tab when i paste this I, this ip address i should see my website and yes everything is working you can see my website is loading up perfectly and that is how you host your website on the EC2 instance with a bootstrap. Thank you, and I hope you find it helpful. And I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye.